Hello, please sit down. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. My name is Kiran. What's your name? My name is Ritika. And My what's your name? My name is Ashish. So your names are Ritika, serial number 10A, and Ashish, serial number 10B. Okay, Ritika. What do you like about your school? Uh, firstly, I like my school very much because the teachers are cooperative. Many activities and cultural programs are held in our school regularly, which help in developing personality among children and <clears throat> they also get a talent to face any problem. Okay, Ashish, do you have a hobby? Yes, I have a hobby. Tell me about it. My hobby is playing cricket. I like cricket because it is my first game I play in my life. I go to academy till 4, 4, till 4 to 5 pm. I give a lot of practice to cricket because I want to play in state level competition. Good. At what position do you play? I play in position of second down. Okay. Now Ritika, you are going to tell us about your topic. When you have finished, Ashish will ask you a question and then I will ask you some more questions. Would you like to begin please? Yes. My topic of discussion is fashion. In reality, meaning of fashion is just to represent your personality. But in today's world, it is ridiculous to see latest generation opinion about fashion. The girls used to make different kind of hairstyles, boys used to set their hairs by using hair gels, which really looks very awkward. If somebody asks me about my opinion for fashion, then I'll just say, fashion is only to represent your personality and your smartness. If you have a good personality, then simply you will be smarter in my point of view. At last, I just wanted to give suggestion to all of you to avoid wastage of time as well as money in such kind of thing. I hope you understand my point of view about fashion and try to follow it. Thank you. Thank you. Ashish, can you ask Ritika a question please? Yes ma'am. How important is fashion today? Compare it with past. Uh, at past, the the people were not concerned about fashion that much but today the everyone is trying to follow the westernized culture and they are forgetting about their traditional culture and are running for fashion okay ratika how does fashion affect our lives uh, firstly fashion affects our life very much as all the students especially the teenagers used to waste their time as well as money in such kind of thing they forgot about their financial condition and try to do fashion all the time. Okay. Do you have your own fashion or you follow the crowd? Yes, I am having my own fashion and I do not follow the crowd. Okay. Now Ashish, you are going to tell us about your topic. When you have finished, Ritika will ask you a question and then I will ask you some more questions. Would you like to begin please? Yes ma'am. My topic is environment. Environment is made up of living and non-living things. We all are surrounded by environment. In environment, pollution is very serious problem. The problem of pollution is engaging the attention of sensible people in the developed as well as developing country. We are polluting the air that we breathe. In winter, there is thick smog all over the city. So people don't get enough oxygen to breathe. Such that in case of Delhi, there are millions of vehicles which burn petrol or diesel. Then there are factories which use coal. Trees have been felled and public parks have turned into slums. There is hardly any green cover left on the ridge. Government is trying to increase the quality of air, but there are many challenges remain in protecting public health and the environment from air quality problem. If we don't check air pollution, the day is not so far when we shall have to carry oxygen cylinder to keep us alive. Okay, thank you. Pratika, can you ask Ashish a question please? Yes. How can we reduce air pollution? We can reduce air pollution by afforestation, reducing the amount of time we spend in car, um, by, really, uh, by um, planting more and more trees. Okay Ashish, what are the agents of air pollution? Agents of air pollution are chimney smokes, fumes from cars and trucks, deforestation. Okay. Who do you think is responsible for pollution? Individual, people or government? I think that people are responsible for pollution because government has made many policies to reduce the pollution but people are not following them. Thank you. Now let's go to the next task. I am going to give you a card which has information about your problem. I will now read out the information for you once. 
I would like you to read it too and then discuss together how you are going to solve the problem. You have two minutes to do this. Here is your problem. Your friend spends all his free time watching TV. With your partner discuss what problems can this lead to? How can he be encouraged to take up more productive activities? The first and the major problem is that it may lead to many eye problems as the student or the any children will concern about TV and forgot anything. Another major problem is physical health. The children watch all the time TV and they this will lead to the physical health. Wastage of time is also a major problem as the students forgot about their free time, the limitation of their free time and, the ex and their free time extends up to um, some hours and some minutes also. It leads to wastage of their time. But wastage of money is also due to electricity. The children watch TV in all day and this led to the wastage of money. Uh, we can encourage the, uh, any our friend by telling the disadvantages of TV and it may cause many harmful effects. Advantages of outdoor games or indoor games should be told to the student uh, so that he will avoid um, uh, watching TV. And encourage to book is also given to children that uh, will lead to the uh, in reading, increase the reading ability of children. Can you agree on a solution? Yes, I agree with the solution. Uh, what is the solution? Uh, as he said that uh, we can tell the any uh, student or our friend that to avoid uh, <coughs> uh, ad, as we can tell him the uh, uh, reading of extra books as it will lead to uh, spend his free time and he also said that it will also lead to uh, destroying its physical health so it may encourage him to how easy or difficult do you think it would be to put your solution in place? I think that it would be easy to put my solution in place because if everybody followed little bit uh, in day to day life, it will be easy to follow the rules. When can television be regarded as a boon for children? Uh, it will definitely become a bo boon for children when they stop wasting their time and are encouraged to watch uh, news channels or uh, many informative channels such as discoveries animal planet etc so uh, to solve this problem do you think it would be a good idea to encourage people to stop buying tv no it is not a good idea to stop buying tvs because many children want to see the informative channel like discovery net geo um, and other children like uh, uh, children like sports who want to see the sports uh, so it is not a good idea to stop buying t uh, TVs okay if you could involve parents in solving this problem what would you suggest them uh, the parents should be suggested to not stopping uh, their children for uh, watching TV uh, this should be told to encourage their students for watching informative channels like discoveries etc so you both agree uh, on this point that the children they should be encouraged for more outdoor games instead of watching TV and when, if they watch TV then they should watch the um, programs that are related to the general knowledge and the informative programs. Yes. Okay, please stop there. That's the end of the test. Thank you and goodbye. Thank, Thank you. you.